All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, and Double honors to our elders and apostles of great meals, and I do it well. And salutations and blessings to you, Akim, that are pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and charity, and risk your lives to do so. And today, I want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it Protection is Coming to the Elect. All right, because they, you know, I did a lesson earlier going in on, uh, you know, how it's going to be mass death here on the planet Earth, me and the brother Tazwar. And hey, that death is coming, but it's a balance to it. It's a balance, and there is protection coming as well. But that's only going to be for a very, very select few, which is the elect. Those that are fighting for Yahweh Bashim al Shai, putting their flesh in, in subjection, all right, and they ultimately rejecting this world, they're going to get protection. From Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, while hey, everyone else is gonna get the plagues and the punishment from the Lord. So any further ado, I'm gonna jump into it. And it's ultimately because they praise the holy name of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And the Lord is not a man that he should lie. If we call upon the name of the Lord, he shall save us. It's power in that name, it's protection in that name. You call on that name in a humble and contrite spirit, the Lord will come through for you. And if you have the actions to, to show for it. This is Sirach 17 and 10. And the elect are going to have those actions, man. Sirach 17 and 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. And what comes with praising the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? And only the elect are going to do these things. Only the elect are going to have the mindset to praise Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Everyone else is going to hey, seek after Esau, Edom, seek after another way, seek after another God, and they're going to fail. This Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. And the righteous is the elect. The elect shall praise his holy name. And they're going to call on the name of Yahweh by Shema Shai, which is a strong tower. It's protection in that name. All right, strong tower goes into a place of defense. All right, it's like you 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 have a um, you know it's a war going on, and you have that that high tower to run into to protect you from the enemies. And that's what that's what the name of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is. And we, you know, are faced with danger and faced with enemies. We call on that name, and the Lord is, is that is that safe place for us. So hey, the elect, they will be protected in these last days, and they will be, you know, fed, clothed, and they won't be touched. It's a Sirach two, uh Salak is second Ezra is two. And 26 says, as for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy numbers. So hey, the elect are going to be protected. They're not going to perish. They're not going to die with these uh, two third niggas, these scumbags with these heathens. Ultimately, they're, they're, they're going to be they're going to be uh, totally guarded by Yahweh Bashim al Shai. The angels of the Lord are going to take charge over us. They're going to fight for us. They're going to protect us in that day. Same way they did aforetime. And the angels always fought for us. They always came through for us. Daniel was in the lion's den. And what? Uh, an angel sent Habakkuk to uh, feed Daniel. An angel saved Peter out of, out of prison. You know, smote him, smote him and, you know, smote him on his side. You know, hit him on his side. Woke him up. Broke him up, at, got him up out of prison, man, and then led him to the gate, and then he disappeared. Took charge over him. Told him, hey, come this way. That's what the angels do, go do for us in that day. It's going to seem like, you know, it's like a, a dire situation. We ain't going to be able to get out of something. Then next thing you know, hey, hey somebody's going to pop up. Angels just going to pop up and, hey, come come with me. Come this way. Go that way. Or you just go hear a voice in your head. Go this way. Do this. Do that. You know? And you're going to be protected as long as you hearken unto that voice. And the elect it, it are going to hearken. You know, it, it's the spirit that the Lord puts on us. So it says, be not weary for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. So a, in, in the day of troubleness and the day of heaviness, Jacob's trouble, a time like never before, but what? He shall be saved out of it. That he is, is the elect, that remnant of Jacob. 
So when that trouble, that heaviness comes, everyone else is going to be weeping. They're going to be sorrowful. The, 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 uh, uh, the majority of Israel, they're going to weep. They're going to be sorrowful. The whole world is going to weep and be sorrowful. These nations, they, they're, they're going to go through it. These Edomites, these prideful damn devils, these prideful heathens, all the rest of them, they're going to weep. They're going to be sorrowful. They're going to be going through weeping and gnashing of the teeth, death, pains, torments. But the elect, they're going to be merry. They're going to have abundance. They're going to be eating. They're going to be drinking in that day. It's not going to be any danger. It's not going to be uh, any danger touching us. And yeah, of course, it, you know, we're, we're, we're going to go through things. We're going to feel, we, we're going to feel things, but we're, a, we're, we're going to be protected and brought through it. That's the thing. That's the point. Because it says that um, Acts 14 and 22, you know, through much tribulation, we're going to enter into the kingdom. So we're going to go through things. We're going to be persecuted. You know, we're going to be put up inside a sticky situation, so to speak. But the Lord is going to get us right up out of that. He's going to bring us through it. Same way he did with uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were faced with death. They were faced with a horrible death, being thrown into a fiery furnace. And they, they, they faced it manfully. They faced it faithfully. And what? The Lord protected them. He brought them through that. It wasn't even a, a, a touch of fire on them. Not even a smell of smoke was upon their bodies. So how much more in these times when the Lord is a finna truly show his power this is the end it says that when the enemy uh, come in like a like a flood the lord shall lift up a standard against him the lord's gonna lift up a standard against esau you know man it's, and you go into that word standard all right goes into uh, um being able to flee you know you you being cloaked you being invisible hey, us having spiritual powers man the lord about to really do these things so, hey, we're going to be protected ultimately. So it's, it's nothing to fear. Just got to trust in the Lord and know that he is. Know that his power is real. And, and remember all of these accounts. Remember everything that has happened in, in, in these scriptures. Everything, man. Anyone that trusts in the Lord, they would never confound it. That's, that's true. Hebrews, the 11th chapter, the whole chapter from one to the last verse. It's all about faith. Those that kept faith in Yahweh by Shemal Shai, they were always rewarded. They was always protected. They was always brought through danger, death. Hey, Noah is, a, is an example for that. The Lord flooded the entire planet Earth. Noah built that ark, moved with fear, as it says, and fear and faith to go hand in hand. Because you fear Yahweh by Shemal Shai, you believe that he's going to do uh, what he said, he's, said that he's going to do. And you don't want to fall into his hands. In the, in, the, in, the, in the negative sense, you know, so you move in that fear and you perform correctly, faithfully, the Lord is going to come through for you. He's going to deliver you. He's going to protect you as he did with Noah. So it says, the heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, said Yahweh. So these, these nations are going to envy the things that we have, you know, they're going to... Uh, uh, Hey, want that protection. They're gonna two-thirds niggas gonna want that protection. They're gonna see, they're gonna see what we have, but they're, they're not gonna be able to get it. They're not gonna be able to do anything against us. They're gonna have that hatred towards us, but they're not gonna be able to touch us. Because there's gonna be a hedge around us. It says Psalms 34. And Seven. It says the ain't verse six it says this poor man cried and Yahweh heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. And we are that poor man. We are in that poor. We are in that poor man's state. We're not at the top of the world with these with these people. We ain't of the world. You know, we're the humble. We're the lowly. Right? All we want is our daily bread. We're that poor man. But we cry out to Yahweh Shem Al Shai. And he's, and he's going to save us out of all of our troubles, all of our problems, anything that we're faced with. Hey, jobs will be lost. Houses will be lost. Hey, uh, family members will be taken away from you. Some of us are going to get round up and thrown into concentration camps. And we cry out to Yahweh by Shema Shai, and he is going to hear our prayers and, and save us. It says, 
the angel of Yahweh encamped round about them that fear him and delivered them. So, the, so it's a hedge around the elect. It's always a hedge around us. When we out there on the highways and byways, hey, hey, the Lord is protecting us. People, hey, hey, can't nobody touch us. Can't nobody harm us, man. You know, hey, then if they do try to harm us, hey, the Lord is, comes, through for, comes through for us. Get into, get into an altercation. Hey, the Lord is going to, Lord going to be on our side. You know? <laughs> People come up against us. Hey, they, they, they get, they get an ass whip and they go to jail. <laughs> you know? And that's all because we are serving Yahweh by Shema al Shai. We, hey, we're, we're his servants. It's always a hedge around us. Let me go back to this. Sirach 2. Uh, yeah, Sirach 2. Sirach, you're not Sirach. I got Sirach on my man. I got to go there. This is 2nd Ezra 2 and uh, 29. It says, For my hand, it says, My hands shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. Be joyful, O thou mother, with thy children, for I will deliver thee, said Yahweh. So hey, the Lord is going to come through for us. He's going to deliver us through, through those troubles, through those pains that are to come. That death that is to come, you know, play these torments and everything oh, that's that's about to arise on the earth. The MOTB, he's gonna keep us from that, you know, because hey, anyone who takes that, you're gonna get the ultimate destruction, the ultimate plague from Yahweh Bashim Al Shabbat shows, which are the ICBM nuclear missiles. So hey, the Lord is is truly fighting for us, and He's truly on our side, man. That's all because of this. Sirach four and twenty eight. Strive for the truth unto death, and Yahweh shall fight for thee. So we're striving for the truth. We're fighting for the truth. We're fighting for, for this wisdom and this knowledge. Fighting for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He's gonna fight for us. He's gonna be on our side. He's gonna come through for us. And all these other people, man, they're 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 gonna be waste. They're gonna be desolate. This is Isaiah 65 and 13. You might as well start at 12. It says, therefore, will I number you to the sword? And this is two thirds of our people. They're going to be numbered to the sword. Because what? It says, ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I call, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear. But did evil before mine eyes and did shoes that wherein I delighted not. They chose Moism. They chose the nine to five lifestyle. They chose the rap lifestyle, the game banger lifestyle. The whore lifestyle, so on and so forth. Ultimately, Esau Edom's ideologies, and not Yahweh Shemuel Shai. So what? They're they're gonna be, they're gonna bow down to the slaughter. They're gonna be they're gonna be uh, getting destroyed left and right, blood to the horse's bridle. But it's a it's a flip side to that. All right, it says, therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So hey, we're going to eat in that day. We're going to drink in that day. We're going to be merry in that day. But everybody else, they're going to they're gonna pine away by famine. They're going to fall by the sword left and right. Strange apparitions attacking these people. Spirits of vengeance to torment these people. And the elect are going to be brought through all of that, man. They're going to escape all of that. It's all because we serve Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai. It says, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit because hey, these people are going to be getting tormented. Second Ezra is the ninth chapter. They're going to, they, they, they're going to have to uh, know after death by pain, but it's going to be a horrible tormentous deaths but those that are serving and fighting for Yahweh Hashem Al Shai hey keep doing what you're doing keep fighting for Yahweh Hashem Al Shai keep doing this work keep being a brother keep studying keep being keep being in this word keep getting into the history of our forefathers so they ultimately builds up your faith it's going to build up our faith more and more for that day to come and the Lord came through for this man he came through came through for that man for that man for that woman. Hey, hey what, what, what makes you think these times are, are any different? It says that he changes not. 
Let me let me get that. The Lord ain't the Lord ain't, ain't changing the same power, man. This is uh Malachi 3 and 6. For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Us Israelites, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. And you speckled birds that may look like the other nations. But your sea line goes back to either a so-called Negro, Hispanic, or Native American, which makes you a biblical Hebrew Israelite. Yashra Allah. The Lord is, is not going to change so that we don't be consumed, so that we don't be destroyed, because he's always going to leave a remnant. He's always going to leave, leave a remnant to serve him, man. Always, because he, he has made a promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that he will be our power, so he's not going to change. It's not going to change, man. As long as you serve him, doing what you got to do, hey, he got you. He got your back. Just pray that the Lord have mercy upon you. So I'm going to get this Sirach 2. I'm going to start at 6. Sirach 2 and 6. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. So trust in your by Shem Al Shai. Have your, have your mind totally focused on the Lord. It says, ye that fear Yahweh, uh, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. So if you go aside and you start trusting in something else, you start doubting, then you're going to fall. And it says, um, let me get this, verse 13. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believe it not, therefore shall he not be defended. So if you're faint-hearted, you lack you lack faith in Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, you doubt in that day, think that the Lord is not gonna come through for you, you give up on Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, hey, you will not be defended because you're not striving for the truth, you're not fighting for Him, you 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 giving up. Once you give up, that's when it's over. That's when it's over when you give up, man. It's it's never over when you have hope, when you have faith in Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. He's all powerful. He can do all things. That's why you gotta you gotta read through these scriptures. You gotta get into the get into the accounts, get into the history. Anyone that trusts in the Lord was never confounded. As, 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 as go, we go get into it. It says, verse eight: Ye that fear Yahweh, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear Yahweh, hope for joy and for everlasting uh, slakia. Hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in Yahweh and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? No one. The Lord ain't never despised anyone that, that, that called upon his name. He said that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous running into it and is safe. He didn't reject you. He didn't leave you out there to be destroyed. He brought you in to be protected because you trusted him. You ain't trusting by y'all. You ain't trusting Esau, Edom. You ain't trusting JC. None of these other false gods. You trusting in Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. He is. You know? Hey, anyone who abide in his fear, were they forsaken? No. Look at Noah. Noah uh, abided in the fear of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. He moved in that fear. He put action behind his faith. Hebrews 11 and 7. By faith, Noah being warned of Yahweh of things not seen as yet, or right, which is. Uh, rain coming down from the sky. The Lord told Noah that he was going to flood the earth. He was going to destroy everything on it. And Noah what? Moved with fear. Preparing an ark to the saving of his house. By which he condemned the world. And became heir of the righteous. Which is by faith. So he did these things by faith. Because he, he, he believed that the Lord was going to do these things. He moved in that fear. Knowing that the Lord could destroy uh, this whole earth. So Noah put it to action. He prepared that ark. He, start, he started to build that ark. And then what? He, he, he was saved, man. And now Noah's name is, is, is forever etched into history as being a righteous man. As being a faithful man. So hey, we got we to gotta move in that same spirit. Same spirit as our forefathers uh, once moved in. And they're here today. They doing the same thing, believing and moving in faith in Yahweh by Shem Hal Shai. So, um, it was some I wanted to get, man. Let me see, is this it? No, I think it's 86. Let me see. 
Mm. No, it's not. That is beautiful, though. Let me see. That's 89. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 89, and verse 16. It says, and the name, yeah, in thy name shall they rejoice all the day. Right. Yeah, well, this, well, this is why we're going to rejoice. This is why everyone else is, is going to be sorrowful. They're going to mourn. They're going to go through uh, weeping and gnashing of the teeth. They're going to suffer, man. Because they don't have that name. Because they're not serving Yahweh by Shema Shah. And it's a reputation behind serving the Lord. You just can't have the name of the Lord and you being a still, still a fucking nigga, man. Still smoking backwoods. Still got dreads in your head, sagging your pants. You still a whore for you women. Still talking back to your husband. Still a problem, you know, to, ser to serve your man. You want to be a city girl. The Lord ain't dealing with that shit, and you're going to die. Saying, Lord, Lord. No, I, I don't know you. That's what the Lord is going to say. I don't know you. And <laughs> you're going to be, <laughs> you're going to be numbered with, with, with the wicked. You're going to fall by the sword and many other instruments of death that the Lord has. It's a million ways to die, you know. But those that's truly serving Yahweh Shemal Shah, having a humble and contrite spirit, putting their flesh to subjection, rejecting this world, doing the work. All right, a, a plant playing plan your role, man. If you're a prophet, do the work. You a help, be a help. You a woman, play your role. Serve your husband. And the Lord is gonna, the Lord is gonna deal. The Lord is gonna protect you. It says, and in thy righteousness shall they be exalted, for thou art the glory of their strength. And in thy favor our horn shall be exalted, for Yahweh is our defense, and the Holy One of Israel is our king. So Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai is the defense to the elect. He is our protection. He is our strength. So this is who we look towards, and this is who's going to Bring us through all the danger and all the death that is to arise in these last days. So, hey, stay faithful to Yahweh Shem Al Shai. Don't lose faith. Don't lose focus. The Lord got us, man, no matter what we're going through. No matter what it is that we're going through. Hey, that's. Let me just go back to this rock, the second chapter. I'm going to end on this. It's rock two and five. It says, For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So we're being refined. We're being refined. We're being made, made better. We're being strengthened. So we have to go through these things. We have to go through these things to see if, if, we're, if we're acceptable men to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. So once you endure these things, a, a, then are you, are you called sons? Then are you joined to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai? But if you, you know, uh, you're, you're, not, you're not made, you know, made better. You're not purified in that fire, then hey, you're, hey, you, you, you are worthless at the end of the day. Got to stay prayed up. Got to stay focused, man. So, hey, always trust in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. I pray this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rechak, Wadash, double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, I do real well. And salutations and blessings to you, Akim, that are pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom, wa, ababa, ball.